for this win. Go up in the second round on a high note. Your thoughts about your team's performance today against Adam? Um, first, I'm going to say this. Uh, uh, thank you to Joy. Uh, to Doy, but um, there, there's a philosophy sometimes, like you foul when it's still time in the clock to extend the game, but that's not what I was thinking. What I was thinking was I need to wear my glasses when I'm coaching because I thought there was uh, 20 seconds left in the game when we took that early foul. But uh, Doy hits the big three, puts it into overtime for us. But what, what we're seeing, like, I, what, what, I, what I thought about this morning is we're, we're really like four and a half months into this journey with me as the head coach. And we're starting to see the light on some of our offense and being in, in some of our uh, schemes. And I just, I just feel that these guys are going to, they're just getting there, they're getting there, they're getting there. And, and I keep saying it's just going to take every now and then one of our older Kuyas, like Joel, to step up and hit a big shot to help us get over the, the hill for the young guys. So um, our defense was phenomenal. We did a great job. They bought into what our game plan was. Um, I don't know. I'm just so proud of them. And again, um, the, the, the wins and losses, I wanted so much for the players than myself because they, I think they deserve it. They're earning it and they're getting there. So I cannot be more proud. And, you know, Mo with 26 rebounds is, I don't know, that's pretty amazing, you know, for, for, for a rookie. And Mo and, and Doy hitting big shots for us down the stretch. So I'm just so happy for the guys. They're buying into what we're trying to do. We practice hard all week and um, uh, we're getting there. I mean, we're, we're getting there. But it's taking leadership like Doyle and on. One of the big things too was back to have Cholo, even if it was for how many minutes? 14 minutes. Um, I don't, he had one big three, but the fact just to have his presence there was a game changer for us today. Big game changer. Hey, Jerry, you have 21 points in two rounds, two assists, two kills. You got one of five because of three points area, pero yung three points ay talas overtime. So ano man sabi mo na naitawid ko yung panalo ng mga sabi. Um, sa akin, um, masarap sa feeling. Um, Siyempre, um, dati napagdaanan na namin to, which is alam na namin yung gagawin namin. Nag-stick lang talaga kami, naglaro kami sa para sa isa't isa. Thank you. And Mo, oh, you have 30 points, 4 blocks, 2 steals, 1 assist, and a season high, 26 rebounds, 1 short of a league record. So, what can you say about your team's performance tonight, and what, what we can expect for you this second round? Uh, what's the thing like our coach and our ultimate? So then he gets stronger. I have to think about our coaches and our ultimate to like keep hard this uh, world season and every time they try to help us, like, we have to get better every day in practice and the coach to shine and that I don't know. So we're just going to have to like to keep getting better and we're going to we're gonna make it. It's going to be different this second round. Yes. Hey, Coach, uh, just how proud are your goals ever? You took down uh, half of your team to Um, I, I think my mother's probably watching right now in California right now. And I told Mo the other day, my mom said that um, Mo is her favorite player. So I was going to punch Mo in practice. I said, what about me? She goes, you're done playing. Mo's my favorite player right now. So, I, I mean, the guy played 45, 43 minutes. He doesn't complain. He works hard. I'm so proud of his progression. Uh, he's only going to get better, you know. Do you think that this is also Mo's a rookie? And honestly, I don't think we have anybody that works harder in practice than Mo. And he's so humble. He's so quiet. Um, I, I want him to be just a little bit meaner, but he is who he is. But he's such a great kid. And so I, I'm just so happy for Mo and pro, I'm proud of Mo's uh, progression.
and we're trying to get this game. So let's talk about uh, getting your second meeting here. Yeah, um, I think the, the last time when we played LaSalle, and I told you guys back then, I said, hey, we're going to be a problem from everybody moving forward. Um, you, you look at all our games, I don't think we've lost a game more than 11 points so far. We've been in every game, and we had a chance to win pretty much every game. So, what, uh, the word, Bowie Long, you know, we're here to get our revenge back on all the other teams. Like, and, and so now, in fairness to the players, in fairness, um, they're, they're working with me. They're helping me learn the UAP. They're helping me with some of the, some of the things I have to learn. Um, but I'm just now getting to know every player on every team now. So now I know how I want to stop teams. So our defensive plan was so so focused on who the guys we wanted to stop for um, for Adamson. And so and the guys bought into it. So that was the beauty of it. Like, And they're just – they're such humble kids and they're such great kids. And I'm, I'm very honored to be in this situation. But I just th think we're going to – have a great second round. I really do. You know, I, I've been saying that since the beginning. So, would you agree with the one who said that this second round will be different? Champre, Italoga. Oh, oh. <laughs> yes, for sure. <laughs> for Coach Shaw, what did you learn about your team after round one? What particular area of that do you really want to change come round? Now you have to. Um, what I learned about it, they're hard workers, they're committed, they're amazingly, uh, how do I say, uh, compliance kids, whatever you say, they'll do, you know, um, and that what we've been really good with our youth is that no matter how hard some of the losses have been, we came back the next day ready to practice, and they've been very upbeat because of those moments, so um, you just imagine as young as we are, how good we're going to continue to get play. That was a big shot for VJ down the stretch, and he needed a moment like that as well, and two big free throws for VJ because uh, I don't think we still have seen what VJ can really do yet. He's still going to bring more to the table. And for uh, well, how would you describe the level of competition so far in the game after round one and after this big win for you? Yeah, it's a great level here, uh, the UAP. Uh, it's hard, they play physical, and they play good basketball also. And you just have to, uh, to adapt and to, to play like that we, we can do. Um, for the, every time uh, this is like the games and the like, uh, you know, it's a little bit of a story like, so, you know, aside from like, time and time and time, Um, well, papasalamat ako sa mga coaches kasi um, uno, na, grabe yung tiwala na binigay nila sa akin at saka yung sinasabi ko sa sarili ko na di ko sila let down talaga. Um, at saka tiwala ako sa sarili ko na kaya ko rin gawin, kaya kong gawin yun. Well, this team are the return of Chola Mokres. So, pagkaysay na, you are another player to the lack of pagkaysay. Uh, absolutely. And not only, Chola is so important to us. And it's been pretty tough playing without him because he can play so many different positions. He even brought the ball down once as, as the point guard for us one time. And then he played four, and then he played three, and he played two. And he's such a tremendous athlete, but his, more importantly, his basketball IQ helps everybody else get in the right place. And he's an older classmate. So missing Cholo, I think we missed about six games so far. And it's been pretty hard, no, no doubt about it. We've been waiting for him to return. So like I said, he was a big help for us today. Even if he only played, 14 minutes. It was huge for us. Coach, you played Amy next on Wednesday. One of your top losses in the first round was against Amy. Your thoughts about playing there this time? Um, Bowie Lung. They're, they're next. So we're, we're after everybody, you know? Everybody um, who got a chance to get at us when we were young, now it's, it's time for us to turn the table. I believe that. I believe we're going to be a problem from everybody moving forward. And, and what I'm teaching my guys today, we need to... I explained to him this, we're going to treat every game like a fight. After the game, we're going to respect every team because of their effort. But we got to go into, like, they're trying to take something from us. And I explained to them a little bit about my history, playing against Alvin Patrimonio, playing against Alan Kade, playing against, he, he never teams. Like, we didn't like each other playing, but right now, those are some of my closest friends because they respect how hard you play and um, how committed you were to your craft. So that's what we need to get to. We need to make something personal against every team. Then after that, we're going to shake their hands and be gentlemen afterwards. But for two hours, 
It's a it's war. That's how we're gonna approach every game moving yeah. forward. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.